OK, I'm going to solve 3x minus 5 all divided by 3 equals 2x plus 1 all divided by 4. This equation involves fractions, obviously, you can see them, but it also involves brackets because the left-hand side is 3x minus 5 all divided by 3 because there's a one, a one long big line dividing the whole thing. So I'm going to get colour out and I'm going to insert that bracket in. That will be the easiest way to, to solve this equation. The right hand side has a similar thing going on. You've got all of 2x plus 1 is being divided by 4. So I'm going to put all of 2x plus 1 in a bracket and it's divided by 4. So this question involves brackets and fractions. Deal with the fractions first. Look at the bottom numbers. They're not the same number. So what I'm going to do is work out what the LCM of 3 and 4 is. The smallest number that 3 and 4 go into is 12. So I'm going to change both of the fractions, and there's only these two fractions in the question, there's nothing else. I'm going to change them both to being 12s on the bottom line, the LCM number. OK, uh, the 3 gets changed into 12 by timesing it by 4. So to keep the fraction on the left the same, I must times the top by 4. So I take the bracket 3x minus 5 and I times it by 4 by putting a 4 outside. So 4 lots of the bracket on the top. So that fraction is the same as that fraction. Next, that 4 there needs to be turned into a 12 by multiplying by 3. So times the bottom by 3, I times the top by 3. So I take the 2x plus 1 on the top and I must treble it. So I put a 3 in front of it, 3 lots of the bracket. So now I've got fractions on both sides still, but they're both over 12. I can get rid of both of those 12s straight away by simply multiplying everything by 12. If I times this side by 12, I just get 4 lots of 3x minus 5. If I times this side by 12, I get 3 lots of 2x plus 1. So I times that term by 12, I times that term by 12. The fractions now have disappeared. I now get rid of the brackets by expanding out. 4 times 3x is 12x. 4 times minus 5 is negative 20. 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times plus 1 is plus 3. So I end up now with an equation with no brackets or fractions. Which side's got most x's? Well, 12x on the left, 6x on the, on the right. 12x is more than 6x. 12x stays put then. I take the 6x to the other side to join it. Plus 6x becomes minus 6x on the left. Equals. Numbers go to the right. The plus 3 stays as plus 3. I can drop the plus if it's the first thing I write down. And then the minus 20 goes over and changes to plus 20. Tidy up. 12x take away 6x is 6x. Equals 3 plus 20, 23. So on the left I've got 6x's, but I don't want 6x, I want 1x. So to go from 6x to 1x, I share by 6. So to keep the balance the same, I share the other side by 6 as well. So I take the 23 and I share that by 6. Share that by 6, share that by 6. 23 share by 6, not a nice whole number. I'm not going to put a decimal answer. The answer is the fraction which doesn't cancel, 23 sixths. That's the answer to this question.